When we reverse directions and start down, we call this stretching the X. We obviously have a gap between the shoulders and the hips in the backswing. That means the shoulders turn more than the hips in a power backswing. Now when we start down, that differential between the hips and the shoulders actually increases when I squat down or sit down to start down. And when, when I demonstrate this, I'm up at the top and I do that little sit down and shift. Notice that the rod here really doesn't move. And that's a great little practice drill to do with the pivot pro. Tremendous, because here's what happens sometimes to good players. They get too quick and the rod comes right with me. Boom, so actually when I come down, this is in my way, or if I really do it, it would even hit the shaft coming down. So that's a spin out where my hips spin too quick, I'm too fast, the club gets stuck behind me this way. Another mistake that this Pivot Pro can help you with is if you start down with your shoulders and stay on your right leg. So when I do that, when I start down, I can feel my hip hit the rod. So it looks like this. And I can feel myself hit that rod. We're going to roll off the inside part of the right foot, which I've talked about in this demonstration previously. Very important that I feel that movement right there and then I release and go through. And when I do that, as I go through to hit my golf shot, go to extension, this rod now will start to come because my foot's coming off the ground, I'm rolling here, and I go through to my finish position and the rod will point pretty much out to the right of your target each time. If you flip your foot around this way, it comes over to smack my club right there or come across my left leg because I'm rolling my foot too much. The proper foot action would be sit down, push off, and up on the toe. Now that's something you could practice with this anywhere. You can't overuse this Pivot Pro if you practice these things correctly as I've shown you.